Is it bad for your health if you live in Butte? Well, you know what? There's a new study that aims to find that out. Tonight, MTN's John Amy reports on this new study that will examine the possible health risks associated with the Mining City's Superfund site. Environmental officials want to learn what the public thinks are the health risks of living in Butte. Members of Citizens Technical Environmental Committee, or CTAC, say there are some misconceptions. People would come by and they'd say, well, I've, I just don't drink the water because I don't think Berkeley pit water is safe to drink. Butte's drinking water doesn't come from the pit, but it's misconceptions like this that SeaTech is conducting a survey with a $60,000 grant from the National Institutes of Health to find out what people think about their health and the environment. Specifically looking to see whether there is, what we think there is, a gap between what people are told and what they believe what they perceive. An epidemiologist recently gave a lecture in Butte where she claimed an independent study found an alarmingly high rate of brain cancer in this region. Dr. McDermott from South Carolina who came here and talked um, and raised quite a ruckus because she said my research shows that cancer rates are we out of line. SeaTech officials say the Superfund cleanup has made a lot of progress in Butte over the past 30 years, including this parrot tailings removal project. In fact, they believe Butte is a much healthier place to live now than it was back then. I don't see exposed tailings that kids are playing in. I don't see, you know, I don't see um, creeks running brown with, you know, with contaminants and so on uh, and so can it be better absolutely should it be better absolutely there will be 500 copies of this survey mailed out to butte residents within the next few weeks in butte john amy mtn news